Welcome to Blending with Henry featuring expression blending. Express your inner being, personality, and style through the food that you blend. Hey you guys, this is Blending with Henry. I'm here in Berkeley, California. I'm going to show you guys where I go shopping to get all the ingredients to make those great recipes in the Vitamix. So let's go take a look inside. Aloha Pineapple. Now you guys know I love pineapple. They are the international symbol of hospitality. They're an expression of me. Now when I make my pineapple smoothies and my pineapple sorbets, I love using gold pineapples. They're actually a little bit sweeter. And of course, they look great. Have you guys seen a mango this big? I mean, this is a really big mango, right? <laughs> Now, I love mangoes. I put them in all types of different smoothies. You can mix them with fruits, you can mix them with vegetables, and you can mix them with soups. They have an amazing aroma to them and they're loaded with nutrients. Green leaf vegetables. You guys do not want to forget your green leaf vegetables. They go good in soups. I mean, you can put mixed sauces for them in the Vitamix, you know, so first of all, we have all types of things over here. We have kale over here. You can also see we have some beautiful broccoli. I buy all these things for the Vitamix when I make, make all my soups. So also beautiful collard greens over here. Don't forget any of these. Loaded with nutrients. My favorites. Again, this is the regular traditional kale that we usually see. And then don't forget the celery, you guys. Always make sure you put green leaf vegetables in your soups and your smoothies. Your body will thank yourself later. Guys, this is dinosaur kale. This is actually one of my favorite types of kale. It's not very bitter. It goes great in smoothies. And it looks really different, you know, and it's loaded with nutrients. I absolutely love it. I love heirloom tomatoes. These are my favorite. When I make a great soup in the Vitamix, this is the type of tomatoes I use. And I like the fact they come in different colors. Absolutely beautiful tomatoes. These are my favorites. First of all, I usually make an acorn squash soup, butternut squash soup. I've made these in a few of my videos, you guys. They're my favorites. And the great thing is there's no dairy required. You put these in, they'll thicken your soups and make your soup real creamy just like if you go to an expensive restaurant. So they are absolutely my favorite. So I'll be making more this harvest season. Did you guys know when you make soups in your Vitamix that you don't have to use dairy to thicken the soup? Well, that's because you can use these right here. There's squash right here, different types of squash. And I always like to use these parsnips. They're perfect for thickening soups without having any type of dairy. And they're loaded with nutrients once again. So, of course, I always recommend that you guys use these. Beet smoothies, beet soups. You guys, I love beets. Now, this is one of the things that some people forget to buy. Because, you know, of course, they don't look great to some people. But you know what? When you want to make something red, add a little bit of a touch of red into your soup or your smoothie, just add a little bit of beet to it. They're loaded with nutrients. I love them. I buy them all the time. And now the nut butter. So, peanut butter, almond butter, cashew butter, all types of butters, right? Nut butters, that's what we all love. So when you go shopping, you guys want to make some peanut butter, I always recommend that you buy in bulk. When you buy in bulk, you're going to save money. So that's what I love going when I go over here to Berkeley Bowl, this is what I do. So if you're going to make the peanut butter, always remember to get the roasted organic Valencia peanuts. They're much sweeter and, of course, they're much creamier. So I'm going to go ahead and just put my bag over here, pull it on down. And this is how I do it, you guys. It's that simple. Don't forget the olive oil, you guys. Now, when you're making soups in the Vitamix, you want to add some extra virgin olive oil. First, it's going to give you a nice, smooth texture in your soups. And I'm going to give you a tip also. 
Now, if you want to make a vegetable smoothie and you want to get that foam away from your smoothies, add about a, cap, a capful of extra virgin olive oil. It'll get rid of the foam in your smoothies. It's a little tip you didn't know about. So, of course, once again, don't forget the olive oil. Now you guys, sometimes I go shopping at different places when picking up frozen ingredients. Frozen fruits are perfect for making smoothies and frozen desserts. And frozen veggies are an easy way to make a quick vegetable soup. So don't be afraid to use frozen. Alright you guys, here is a recap of my shopping trip at Berkeley Bowl Marketplace. I always have a great time shopping here. There's always a beautiful array of melons here. Sweet potatoes, pineapple my personal favorite, lemons and oranges, beautiful greens, beets of course, and I like the selection of squash. Now the pomegranates are amazing this harvest season. Now when creating almond butter, peanut butter, cashew, and different types of nut butters in the Vitamix, buy the nuts in bulk you guys, it's much cheaper. And of course, don't forget the olive oil. Now, you can't forget the olive oil. Now, you know, of course, if you're going to make soups, it's perfect for putting in your soups. Hey you guys, this is my most cherished Vitamix, the Professional Series 750 in the copper metal finish. Grab one of these beauties to create some great recipes using the ingredients I recommend in the video. Now you can order through the link on the shopping page on blendingwithhenry.com or through the link above the comments in this video. Alright you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and I hope you enjoy grocery shopping with Blending with Henry. Now please remember to visit me at blendingwithhenry.com. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. And I will see you all next time.